In this video, I want to talk about three different enclosure design for 3D printer I saw on YouTube. And I also want to talk about what are the pros and cons of each design. The diagram I'm going to show in this video is very simplified diagram. So it doesn't show any details of the enclosure because I want to focus on the basic functionality of the enclosure. But I think most of the enclosure designs belong to one of these categories. So please keep that in mind. The first design is the most common design from YouTube and it's simple enclosure without any ventilation hole. A good thing about this design is because there is no ventilation, the air inside the enclosure can be heated up relatively faster than other design I'm going to show. As you might already know, if you want to 3D print material such as ABS, it's important to keep relatively high and constant temperature while printing, and this design allows you to do that. Downside of this design is whenever you stop printing and open the enclosure, the plastic fume will be spread out in your room, and if you don't really want to breathe in those fumes, you need to ventilate the entire room every time you open it, which can be quite hassle. Also, as the air gets hotter inside the enclosure, the pressure will become higher than your room. And unless your enclosure is completely airtight, which can be tricky to build, the plastic film will eventually leak out and you will breathe in those fumes. The second enclosure design is the one with the ventilation. This design has an outlet with a fan that actively ventilates the air out of the enclosure and to the outside of your home. It also has a relatively small inlet to keep the pressure difference. Because the air is forced out of the enclosure, the pressure inside will be lower than the pressure in your room. So if there is a gap around the enclosure, the air will always flow into the enclosure and this will keep the air in your room free of plastic smell or ultrafine particle generated by 3D printer. So if you are worried about potential health issue, this design might be better for you. The disadvantage of this design is because the heated air inside the enclosure is actively ventilated out by a fan, it might be more challenging to keep the air temperature high than the first design. One idea to compensate this is we can probably put a small heater with a thermostat inside the enclosure to just help out heating up the air inside. The third design uh, has a kind of closed loop filtering system. This design has a fan that pulls the air out of the enclosure and the air goes through the filter, then it will be resupplied to the enclosure. The good thing about this design is because the air is not ventilated out, it's easier to keep high temperature inside and also filter can potentially remove plastic particle from the air before you open the enclosure. Downside is though, the air quality inside the enclosure really depends on the performance of your filter. If the filter can remove most of the ultrafine particles in the air, that is great. But likely such filter might be quite expensive. And also because 3D printer constantly generating the plastic film, you probably want to replace the filter quite often, which could not be ideal if you don't want to spend too much money on maintenance. Also, similar to the first design, unless the enclosure is completely airtight, some of the heated air will eventually escape through the gaps around the enclosure because the pressure inside is higher than the outside. So this might not be the best option if you really don't want to breathe in plastic fume. So depending on what you want to do with your enclosure, I think you can choose one of them. I personally prefer the second option because my wife had a strong allergic reaction to the plastic film even when I was printing with a PLA. So keeping the air free of any plastic film would be my main reason to build an enclosure for me. And if I want to print with ABS in the future, as I mentioned earlier, I think I will try to put a heater inside and see how it goes. Actually, I have a video of how to make an enclosure based on the second design, so if you are interested in it, please check it out. 
I appreciate you watch this video and please leave comment below if you have any questions or thought about the enclosure design. Then I'll see you in the next video.